so application of the light gray I'm gonna start I'm gonna start off to the side a little bit so this is not as intimidating like up here where there's this little light gray area right here let's pull that down a little bit so we can see what I'm talking about there's a little light gray area up here and so I'm gonna put that little light gray area in like that I'm gonna hunt for other little light gray areas there was one kind of in here as well so I'm thinking light gray there's also a little bit of light gray right up here at the top and when I put this in it's kind of sharp the puddle is a sharp puddle, it's not really smooth. And so I practice just in, in some parts that are off to the side that are, are the light gray. There's another one right here, it looks like. And remember, like with the bird painting that we did, it's not going to start looking like the wolf until we actually get down to the blacks on there too. Now I'm over in this ear on that trying to put there some light gray looking pieces in there. Three of them. So I have the light gray over here. I jumped over to this one. I went up to this one. I did that one right there. And now we got those light gray pieces there. Now beside the ear, over here, we had some light gray as well. It almost looks like there's two pieces. It's maybe one there and one right up above it. Okay, so now we've taken care of that, that top part of the head right here. And we put in the light gray, we've established a good value, and we're feeling pretty good about that. Now let's, I'm going to come down a little bit. There's a light gray piece right in here, huh? Let's go ahead and do that one. Where's my, where's, where's my light gray? Okay, so it's right in here. Okay, so that's that little chunk right there. Now over here, there's a light gray piece, but there's a white inside of it, so I gotta leave the white. And so that's this guy right here, and I gotta leave that little white piece right in the middle of it. I can come and fill in the rest of it with that light gray. Take that out just a little more. And now let's go under the eye. There's some light gray underneath the eye here. Now I'm trying to just get some of those little parts of the light gray first. Now I know that there's light gray here in the eyes. If we want, we can we can make a, a different color on that one. Let's go ahead. I'm, I'm not going to tackle the big part yet on that light gray. Um, let me go ahead. Let's let's. Oh, uh, well, I guess we can. We know that this part is white, and that there's a little bit of light gray underneath. So let's. Uh, oop! I needed to dilute that down a little bit. Got a little pigment. Too much pigment there. 
for light gray. Okay. So we know that there's just a little bit of light gray here. It comes in underneath the eye and comes up into here. I'm going to take this around a little bit just because I need to stretch that pigment out. It got a little bit a little bit darker than what I wanted. And we want to have these kind of irregular shapes kind of jutting out from the central part of the face. As this comes down here, some of these little parts are coming up with little angles coming in, little pieces. That's my white area in there. I gotta leave that that alone. Now my puddle's gonna start to get a little bit bigger. This is some more white stuff that's over here. Gotta paint around that. And usually if you kind of grow your your painting out need to get a bigger brush we can do that here's a little white island I gotta paint around bit bigger brush as I come in this area here because I'm covering a larger area. I'm going to switch over. That started to dry a little bit. Didn't want it completely dry. I have a little bit of some oil spots right there. That's kind of funny. Oil from my hand. And if we can build this across to where we don't have, well, it's still wet puddle, so it kind of dries as we go along, we'll be okay. this little area here. This part started to dry a little bit. Let's go back in and re-wet that. Just because I needed to. Okay, and so that's the light gray area here. 
let's go ahead and uh, bump over and get some of our other light grays. There was a light gray right here. up there. Where else we go? There's some little teeny white grays over, light grays over here. As it just kind of comes up over that area. That's a black. Now I did have some little islands of, of light gray right in here, right? We drew those in. And then we had some, let's continue this light gray down now. comes down and then goes the top across the top of the nose into this other next biggest uh, and probably final area of light gray on this side of the nose finish off in here and we can make it a nice even puddle it will accomplish our purpose I think that's most of our little light gray areas that we have going on for our first application. And it doesn't have to be exact on, on those with the applications. Just kind of trying to take inventory, make sure I got most of my light grays taken care of. That looks pretty good. And so, as we, we mentioned before, the um, it doesn't actually start to look like the wolf itself until you start getting your darker values. But that's the first application. That's the uh, on that of the light gray areas.